So we're in the lab today at Diverse Dimensions and we're measuring up a handful of these castings here. And I've got a model prep for it and I've done a couple of them, but there are some cool things inside of Polyworks that I wanted to show you guys today. We have the ability to do, uh, to go through our model, our model tree um, as a, like a sequence, like a macro almost, and it's called play inspection. And um, it's, it's very simplistic and it works perfect when you guys do repeated measures. If you're gonna do a capability study or maybe you're just doing a handful of these pieces. But once you've got the model dialed in and you've got the reporting the way you want it to go, when you hit a new piece, and I think we've talked about this as a video before when we can do a new piece, um, but I wanted to show you that here as well because this works out really well with the alignment too. The alignment seems to um, snap into place first, even if it's further on down the model tree, we can make that go early in the, uh, in the model tree so that every, of the, every one of the comparison points will come out as it's in that alignment. So let me show you a second here. Jump into the model here. I've got V14 open and here was the third piece that I did. So piece three, you can see that up here in my model tree. And if I wanted a fresh, well, let me show you this. If I show all the features, middle mouse button push down, you can see everything is populated. So let me get rid of that. And then if I go to this piece three, new piece up here in this corner. If I click on him, yeah, let's do a quick save a second. We'll burn through that. And then notice what comes up. There's gonna be a dialog box that comes up here for piece four. Now I've got a couple other alignments that I've used in the past. I'm not going to select any of them because I want to measure again all of the features that are used in this alignment, okay? But what I do wanna do is punch on this dialog box here, launch play inspection and I'll, I'll punch on create here. Notice what happens. You get this screen here where it kind of shows up as a, um, yeah, it shows the model. It shows exactly where I'm gonna to start to measure. So this is the first one here. Um, this will start to make my datum A, my plane for my datum A. So bear with me, I'm gonna measure this up and I'm gonna go through this on the screen with you as well. So you'll be able to see the sequence I go through, but I'll stop as soon as I get to the alignment and I wanna show you that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to measure a plane on this shoulder. I'll get four points on him. Compensate out. Now I've got a cylinder in here on a very small surface. So what I'm going to do is I'll measure that up as a cylinder a second. Then I'll run over to this side where I've got that same exact configuration. There's the plane. Now I'll get the cylinder. Now notice what comes up next. This point B, the datum that I'm using for point B, it is on the casting right here. And of course, I am not in the alignment. So when I go to measure this right here, notice what happened. Just as soon as I hit that, that turned green. And now you'll see that if I run down to this little flange here, I am in the alignment. So I'm gonna measure this flange up here just for a quick second and then put, uh, put the circle in there. Now, I'm gonna stop what I'm doing just to kind of walk you through that in the model tree. So if I wanna stop this play inspection, I punch on the button here, the stop. There, okay. Now notice, up here, this point B, let me show you that. That's the point that's used in the alignment. This is a reference point that I'm using in the alignment. So that's part of the reference targets that are down here in my model tree. And that's using uh, the A1 center and the A2 center of the two pivots that I, that I measured up here. So with those three features, I'm getting into the alignment. But what I wanted to show you is that 
these, these points are all used in sequence to develop that alignment. And then I can start measuring the rest of my, my points, like these comparison points that are down here, because all of these are now relative to the model. In fact, I will measure these just a second for you too, just to show you that I'm in the alignment. So if I go probe measured, all of those comparison points then are just going to highlight until I measure them. And I'm guided in with each of those points. Three on each side. It's a little tougher to see that, but I can see that I'm green on that, that target. There, now I'm done with those three. So it's just a great way if you guys are going to do repeated measures that you can grab the exact same features again to, mo to measure that alignment. And in this case, it was the two pivots on those cylinders, and then it was going to be this point up in here in the casting where I have to use those before I can get into the alignment. So if you've got your model tree all dialed in and your reporting is all good, I, I so recommend that in play, that, uh, play inspection because then you can just start working your way through your capability study or your multi-piece repeated measures. Thank you.